definitely are looking at people taking aim and pulling the trigger on AK-47 assault rifles. We're at uh, Russia's largest military trade fair and we're going to show you what's actually the, the biggest thing making news at this year's show and it's it's not actually even a weapon, it's this, this pale blue car. It's called the CV-1 and it's Russia's first entry in the electric car race. Uh, we don't know much about it in terms of how much it's going to cost. They're not saying, but we're only told that it will go 300 kilometers on one charge and it will go from zero to 100 in about six seconds. Now, one of the things that makes this car so interesting is who makes it? And that is, it's the same people that make those assault rifles, the legendary Russian arms manufacturer Kalashnikov. Now, they've been branching out over the years. They're not just about guns anymore. They're also making uh, sporting equipment, camping equipment, uh, all kinds of uh, other vehicles, and now also cars. Reaction from Russians to this new entry has been a little bit mixed. Some people like the kind of retro Soviet design. Others on social media are saying, you got to stick to what you do best, and that's uh, and that's make uh, make guns. Also interesting, some of the marketing on this really going on that this is the thing that's going to take down Tesla. This can beat Tesla's electric car. Lots of hyperbole for now. Obviously, they're brand new uh, at all of this. Don't expect to be able to buy one of these in Canada anytime soon, though. Kalashnikov is on a long list of Russian entities that have been sanctioned by the Canadian government uh, because of um, the very frosty relations with the Putin government. Chris Brown, CBC News in Moscow.